Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video on my top four luxury regrets. So most of these items I do not have with me right now. Um, the two bags I'm going to talk about I actually ended up selling last year and um, the one thing I do have and then the fourth thing is actually two things that I just kind of put into one thing because they're both um, sunglasses and I still do own them in my collection but I do not have them um, with me right now but I am going to insert pictures of everything. All right, so the first luxury regret I have um, is actually what was the second um, luxury bag I've ever purchased. Um, it is from Louis Vuitton and it is my Louis Vuitton Keep All 55. So I bought the Keep All 55 um, to go on a road trip um, five years ago. Um, I thought it would be so cute. I had just bought, um, like the year before, I had just bought my Never Full MM in the monogram canvas. So I bought um, the Keep All 55 in the monogram canvas uh, so I could have like little matching like tote and duffel bag to go on this trip. Well, it wasn't only for the trip, but I thought it would be cute for the trip. So I bought it right before the trip. And I, um, back then, was uh, naive to, uh, how do I put this, um, you get what you pay for is kind of uh, the saying that I was ignoring. So I bought the regular key ball, which does not have a bandolier strap. The key ball bandolier, obviously, is the one with the um, long shoulder strap. So I bought the regular version, which just has the hand carry um, handles. And that is the reason why I do not have this bag anymore because it was ridiculous. Like that bag gets so heavy when you stuff it. It's a big, big bag, the 55. It's the biggest one um, that they allow um, you to carry on for an airplane. And when you fill that with your clothes and your shoes and everything, it puffs up, it gets very, very big, and it gets very, very heavy. And to carry that on the crook of your arm and your hand, like, or in your hand, is honestly, like, near impossible for me. Um, unless you're, like, insanely strong, like, there is no way. Like, I was miserable carrying that bag uh, to the hotel, and then I eventually ended up taking that bag on two trips um, that I ended up uh, taking an airplane for, and carrying that bag through an airport is literally, like, hell. Like, it is so heavy I would have to put it down like every couple minutes like it was torture so I don't even know why they make that bag without the bandolier strap honestly it makes no sense to me it is so awkward it is so heavy there it doesn't work like I absolutely would not recommend that at all like ever to anybody <laughs> so that is the reason I ended up selling it it was so cute I love the key ball I think it's an awesome awesome piece of luggage like it fits a ton um it's a great great duffel bag um but if you don't get the bandolier strap, it's seriously pointless. And I did hear that they're actually discontinuing the regular key ball, which totally makes sense to me because I, I don't think anybody should buy that bag without the bandolier because although the bandolier is like a few hundred dollars more, it's buying that bag without the bandolier to me was a complete waste because I, I ended up selling it for like a third of what I paid for it and it was totally not worth it. I used it on three trips in um, five years that I had it and uh, other than that it just sat in my closet um, and the three times I did use it it was seriously it was it was horrible. I know I'm not like ranking these as like my biggest luxury regrets but that definitely is my number one biggest luxury regret. Okay so number two um, is actually another bag and that is my Balenciaga a four or a six um uh, it's either the a4 or the a6 i'll put it in the description box below um papier bag so it's a mini bag um and it has two top handle straps and a shoulder strap and this bag is so so cute it's adorable i thought it was so cute when i bought it i actually got it on sale which was awesome um it was another plus i got it in a gray color it was like a like a darker gray and it was super edgy super cute um it went with so many outfits i love 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 that bag um but it just didn't end up working out for me um 
because of the way that they put this bag together but on the sides there are two zippers because when you unzip it you can stretch the bag out and kind of spread the bag and make it a little bit bigger um so they ended up putting the the shoulder strap instead of hooking it on the two sides like a like a louis vuitton bandolier bag would have like one hook on this side one hook on that side and the strap go like this um they ended up putting the strap the first hook on the like the left side front of the bag and going to the back side right of the back the right back side of the bag so it was kind of like diagonal and when you would put it on your shoulder the bag would kind of be turned um like every time you would wear it it would be like a little turned and it also had a magnetic closure at the top and that magnet was super weak and it would hang open so the bag would not only be kind of turned, but it would be hanging open too. So it looked really, really awkward on my body frame at least. And I just, it bothered me a lot. Like I just couldn't get past it. I just felt like it didn't look very well made when it was on. And it was super nice leather. It was a beautiful, beautiful bag. And like sitting on a table, like the bag looked so cute, whatever. But when it was actually on my body, it looked really, really poorly made to me. And uh, I couldn't get past it. So that's actually why I ended up selling it. Um, but the good thing is since I did get that bag on sale, I ended up getting most of my money back, uh, for what I paid for it. So that was, that was cool. That's not a regret, but buying the bag in the first place with, I couldn't get past, even though it was so cute to look at, um, it just really, the way that the style, it didn't, it didn't work for my lifestyle. And it was, um, kind of an awkward size for somebody um who carries like a full size wallet and stuff on like an everyday basis that stuff didn't fit in the bag but it wasn't like a super mini bag where like I would bring like the bare minimum like my card holder and a lip gloss and my cell phone and be good like it was it was bigger than that so but it wasn't big enough to carry like what I would normally want to carry every day. So it was right in the middle there. So it really just didn't work out for my lifestyle. Um, but it is a super, super cute bag nonetheless. All right. So my third luxury regret are these shoes. They are my Christian Louboutin. Um, I want to say Ar Argotic or Argotique. Don't quote me on that. I will also put the name down in the description box. Um, but yeah, so they are these black patent leather, um, 120 millimeter, um, pumps and they have an almond toe. So I have, um, a couple other pairs of Christian Louboutins and they are peep toe pumps. So I have a white patent pair and a nude patent pair, um, of the peep toe and the white ones are either a hundred millimeters. I think they're a hundred millimeters or 120. I'm not sure. So they're either the same height as this or a little bit shorter, but the nude ones are 140 millimeters. So they are taller than these and they are both, um, they're both I mean, they're heels and they do hurt a little bit, but they're like, all right, like I can walk around in them. They're, they're okay, comfortable. These are horribly uncomfortable. Like they hurt so bad. These are by far the most uncomfortable shoes I have ever worn in my life. Like the toe box in these shoes are they squeeze your toes so hard like I honestly don't know how anybody like I have walked around in these for like a whole night like I have gone out in these shoes and like I was I literally felt like my toes were gonna break off like they are so uncomfortable and my other Louboutins don't do that but they're peep toes so I don't know if it's just like because these have like a full closed toe but they are horrible and yeah I I struggle wearing them because I want to wear them because they were expensive. Like they're Louboutin pumps and, uh, but I just can't do it. They hurt so bad. I mean, and I feel like I wouldn't mind it as much if they were cuter, but my thing is, so my second reason why I regret these is because I did get this almond toe and I did buy them, um, five years ago, um, as well, maybe five or six with these. I'm not sure, but, uh, 
I really, really regret not getting um, the Pigals or the Socates because um, with the really pointy toe, both of those are the, are the very pointy toe pumps. And I really, really regret not getting pointed toes and getting these almond toes because I have a really, really hard time finding something to wear with these. Um, I feel like the round and almond toes are definitely not in style as much um, anymore as the pointed toe pumps are. And uh, last month, I wanted to wear these because I, they've literally been sitting in my closet, not being worn. I mean, although they do look pretty worn on the bottom. When I first got them, I did wear them a decent amount, um, but I haven't worn them literally for years. And I was like, you know, like the winter season's almost over, like it's almost springtime, like I'm gonna wear my black Louboutins. Um, I'm gonna make it a point to wear them. And it took me so long to even find an outfit that I thought looked cute with these. Like, I had a really, really hard time with it. Like every time I put these on, I was like wishing that they were super pointy toe. Um, so yeah, that's really why I regret them because one, the style, I really wish I got a different style and two, the comfort of these, like it's insane. Like I have never ever worn more uncomfortable heels than this specific pair. Like it is ridiculous. Like, oh, I don't know. Guys, like, I love Louboutins. I really, really love my red bottoms. But this particular style, I don't think they make it anymore. And I could definitely tell you why because they are they are killer. All right, so then my fourth... That's not four. This is four. So my fourth luxury regret are actually two pairs of sunglasses. So I just put them both in number four just because they are both sunglasses um i bought them both the same year i bought them six years ago both of them and uh i regret them both for the same reason so the first pair is the prada baroque round sunglasses and the second pair are the dior so real sunglasses so I bought these, like I said, six years ago, and they were both super, super popular. It styles the sunglasses. They were so in. Um, they were like the sunglasses that like everybody was talking about, like at, at that time, at least like the people that I knew. Um, and I bought them just because they were like super cool. And uh, they both looked really, really bad on my face shape. Um, I'll insert pictures of them. I actually actually did post a picture a throwback um picture yesterday um on my instagram um of me in the dior sunglasses and they don't look that bad in that picture but in person like they really don't work for my face shape and neither did the prada um i do still own both of those but uh yeah i don't have them with me right now um but i do still own them um maybe i'll try the paradas again like try another go with them but they just uh, they don't flatter my face shape at all i feel like they make my nose look really big um I have three pairs of Ray-Ban aviators that I have had for the same amount of time as the Prada and the Dior and they are like my favorite sunglasses. I always wear them. I love them so much like and they're half the price. So I paid $300 for both of those sunglasses, the Prada and the Dior. The Prada I bought new and the Dior I actually bought pretty loved and um and I actually got them um for $300 as well. I think they're originally 550, but I um they just neither of them looked good on me like at all um and I seriously bought them just because they were in and I could have had double the pairs of like the Ray-Bans that I know look good on me for that price so it was just a dumb decision so that's why those were um definitely my last um luxury regret so I definitely learned don't buy sunglasses that don't look good on you just because they're popular Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!